Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be getting started in a minute. This is like the uh, airplane. We're going out to de-ice. And then once we finish de-icing the plane, hopefully we can take off. That's me. We're ordering the band food. Are you kidding here? Can you hear me? Oh, Peter, turn, Peter, turn me.
Ladies and gentlemen and everybody else, welcome to Clement's Place. That means you got to clap. If you don't clap, we don't have any music. That's the history of Wayne Winborn and Clement's Place. That's one of those things that you get used to. Uh, how many people are new here? Anybody know? Because I know most of the people coming through the door. Oh, okay. So... The quick thing for you is bathrooms are down where the blue light are. Um, have a good time. You can not make noise because we like to be a listening room. And uh, we have a lot of fun. I would tell you who's coming up uh, because Wayne told me who's coming up. And we are going to figure that out. I do know Steve Crone is coming on Friday. And I'm not sure who he has coming. James Austin Jr. on the fourth. Oh, James Austin Jr. And the eleventh. So we're gonna have a really good time. It's gonna be swinging. If you remember James Austin, he was doing the James Jams here that hopefully maybe next year we'll get to James. The Jams Jams. I know you would love the Jams Jams. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we are at Clemens Place tonight. We have a wonderful, wonderful band here. Um, the reason I am very excited about it is because this has been, even though Kim doesn't think so, this is Women's History Month, and I'm excited because I tried to do this over two years ago. And I don't know which of you guys remember Daryl Clark, but he played here. He played for me in South Orange. And he was a bassist. And he was a friend of Kim. And Kim and Daryl's sister? Yeah, grew up in Queens, like, when they were five, six years ago, which, from Kim's perspective, is like 10 years ago. So they played many, many moons ago. Daryl played with us, and then Daryl passed... Uh, in 2020, and we were trying to do an event like this. So two years later, after April, the exact same band that we were trying to get into South Orange, uh, we finally got them here today. So this is very exciting because one of the things is Kim Clark, if you don't know it, she runs a festival called Ladies Got Chop. Lady Got Chop. Now, some of us like me are happy to do one, two, three days, maybe once a week I can say I'm in the women's history, doing an event for women's history. However, Kim got bored with that, so she now has a Lady Got Chop Festival, and it's lady, not ladies, and it runs every single day in March. So she has people everywhere. And it's over, I'll call it the greater New York, New Jersey area, because I saw places in Connecticut, I saw places here around the world. And if you go to ladygotchop.com, there's a link, takes you to the 2022 festival, along with every other single festival for the last 19 years. So it's a very inclusive festival, it's very nice. People play from everywhere. So it's really cool, so I can honestly say, we are in the Lady Got Chop Festival today because this band is part of it. So thank you very much for coming out to uh, tonight. And I ran into Yayoi um, 
a couple of days, a couple of, about a month or a couple of months ago last year, playing out at a Van Gogh's Air Cafe. And phenomenal. So I didn't get her two years ago, but I did get her uh, then, and she was just like awesome. I've seen her play at Kennedy Center on TV and a couple of other places. So I asked her, I don't want that classical quiet pianist. I want the uh, Benito Gonzalez type pianist tonight. Because she was just like all over the place playing in the cafe, really energetic. And Luciana Padmore, I'm very happy to see her. I know she's played on Broadway and other places. And I think she, you're from the Bronx originally, right? Yeah. yeah, so I'm from the Bronx originally. So there's some connection there. So ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to have a really fantastic kickoff to Women's History Month right here at Clements Place. So thank you very, very much for coming out. And ladies and gentlemen, I present the Kim Clark Trio. Is um, it's a it's a combined festival. It's not like I'm a great George, uh, George Ween or something like that. I'm basically a website builder, and I try to celebrate women where they stand, whatever they're doing during Women's History Month. I'm I've got I uh, want to reach out to the dancers and the visual artists and anyone else. If you have an event going, or if there's some kind of dedication that you'd like to place. I have a calendar, and that's what I do. And s sometimes I have a budget for particular gigs, and sometimes it's not. It's just venue, lovely venue owners such as Mr. Winborn and the people at the Bean Runner that are down with the program and they want to, uh, you know, give women a chance, especially instrumentalists, because there's not that many of us that work all together at the same time. A lot of times you see. Uh, Oh, the Women's Jazz Festival is like a great singer and a great bunch of guys playing. So what I tried to do with the first uh, nine years that we were in one location was to make sure that every band had all women all the time. Now, it's, it's loosened up since then, and so have the, um, the idioms. Yeah. But um, I hope you enjoy yourselves tonight, and I'm going to stop chattering and get to the music. So thank you so much for coming. This is a great house. I'm like, wow, look at all the people. Uh, it's amazing for me. Because believe me, I've been we played some crickets and great music going to the crickets, but that's okay. <laughs> uh oh, help me! I don't see the off switch. Help me! Thank you. Thank you. That's a mod a margarine. <laughs>
Thank you. 
Thank you. 
was George Shearer's conception. Now, oh, we can get this picture a little bit. I don't have to do Is everybody ready? I'm like, oh, there's no big game. Okay. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Though. No matter. <laughs>
Is that okay? Is that okay? Uh, I have lots of it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Yes.
tell you what. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started. So now we have our two front row seat people. See? Some people ask me, do people come for set two? These two came for set two, okay? They're our official set two people. <laughs> so if you ever do want to come for a set two, I kind of leave it on the flyer, but I prefer to have everybody hang if they want to hang, and if they don't, they don't. So we'll see how we go as we go along. But thank you very much for coming out. I don't know about you, but I am enjoying this music tremendously. So it's very nice to see the very focused Kim, who's looking hard. Miss Luciana Padmore, who has this smooth smile look on her as the <laughs> drums are just ruining along. Manny Kawa, Yayoi, who's just doing her thing and just like taking us through the melody. So thank you very much for coming out. We will be here. Uh, James Austin, I was told, is Friday. And then uh, Steve Kroon is the next week. And then um, we'll get you the details on more of them as we go. That means my phone is dead and it's back this. So I can't give you all the details. So thank you very much for coming out. I'm going to get this thing going. And back over to the band.
Girls are not going to think they're wrong. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do a lovely Pacific Coast, our lovely dear departed Father in Heaven. Jazz Father in Heaven, Gary Harris.
Mm. Okay. Now we're going to attempt a reload. Okay. Um, sit down. I'm going to try. Mm. Hasta la cámara se encuentra de aquí.
Yeah, but matrix or oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't remember if it's a real or a bad. Oh, it's just yes or Okay. 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 Oh, it's just Oh, it's just Oh,